It's time now for our last match in the compound competition here at the Taipei Archery Open, part of the Indoor World Series. And out comes Mike Schlosser, 28-year-old from the Netherlands, world ranking of number one at the moment in the world. And his opponent is Chen Chi Lun of Chinese Taipei. Mike Schlosser, incredible performance in qualification, matched his own world record. Perfect score, 600 out of 600, and he's had some dominant wins in reaching the final. And but Chet Lun Chen, he's going to be a tough opponent. He's world ranking of 52 at the moment, highest 17. He's a bronze medalist at the World Archery Championships in 2019 in the teens event. And he had a good win over Wei Wei Chen of Chinese Taipei in the semi-finals, 147 to 144. And Schloss has been in imposing form, touched on the qualification. He got the perfect 150 in the 1-8 eliminations, dropped three points in the quarterfinals and dropped only one point in the semi-finals. So here he is, Mike Schlosser. Knows how to shoot an arrow, this fellow. Let's get the gold medal match underway. Yeah, I think on paper Mike is a clear favorite in this match, but uh, yeah, you never want to rule out uh, somebody just by statistics. And uh, if you look at the average uh, arrow score by Chen, I think uh, Mike will have a tough cookie in this match. Oh, that's what Chen is going to need to do, just to stay in touch with Mike Schlosser. Yeah, effectively, if, if Mike keeps shooting like this, then there's nothing Chen can do. But uh, yeah, all he needs to do is just uh, stay close and, and try to match him. But. 28 is not the start you want against uh, the world number one. Well, you know, Mike, uh, Chef, just tell us what oh, stands him above the others at the moment. Why is he so good? Uh, I think it's uh, it's multiple things. So uh, I've actually uh, had some really profound talks about this uh, with him, um, about what makes him and, and uh, perhaps what made me a good archer. and. Um, what we share and what we had in common is that we both, from a really young age, shot a lot of national competitions. So every weekend we would go out and shoot one or two competitions. And in the winter we would, we would shoot four if there was time for it. So um, I think it's just the, the you know, the, the competition spirits that you train by, by doing them a lot. Um, and then also the fact that Mike has a literal shooting range in his backyard and uh, gets the chance to practice as much as he can. Uh, that helps as well. Well, yes, walk out the back door and start shooting arrows. It's got to be an advantage. Let's see if Chen can come back into this match. Two-point game at the moment after that first end. Uh, this is exactly what he needs to do. He just needs to stay close to Mike in terms of score and uh, hope for a bit of a slip up at the end of the match where uh, where he can capitalize. Because it doesn't seem like Mike is going to make any mistakes anytime soon. Yes, indeed. Perfect score so far. And that is dropping below the two centimeter ten ring and there is Schlosser 60 out of 60 the judges love it in the background quick. there don't they chef look at that yeah well they are getting treated to a master class of compound archery so uh, yeah, if I was there in the audience I would uh, enjoy myself as well 
and I am enjoying myself on this end of the commentator booth. Yes, absolutely. Uh, as I touched on earlier, Mike Slosher has already got a perfect score in the 1 8 eliminations. Dropped just the one point in the semi final. Perfect in qualification. Dropped three points. So he's only dropped four points in the entire competition, Chef, which is incredible. Yeah, but, and I dare to say that that's actually a little bit below his standard, um, <laughs> which is maybe a rude thing to say, but I think I can get away with it. Um, but for all we know, he, he might have been testing something in a match where he shot a 147 because it is uncharacteristically low for him. Well, Chen, props to him. He's just playing his own game, which is what you need to do in archery. You can't really have any impact on your opponent. And here's that signature leaning back style that I was talking about earlier, where you lean into the shot rather than standing up straight and, and really trying to force the bow. Um, you're just letting the bow do its thing and, and letting the aiming movement happen. Uh, and by balancing the bow in such a way that you get a slow aiming movement, you eventually can get really, really high scores. Oh, that is right in the middle from Mike Schlosser. And again, the officials and everyone here are just in awe of what Mike Schlosser is doing here. 90 out of 90. He is absolutely... Uh, let's just... Let's just be clear here and, and uh, say that Chen is not shooting a bad match. He's, uh, he's scoring 86 points out of 90 points, so he's shot five tens and four nines, which is not bad, to say the least. But um, if you're up against the world number one, um, whose nickname is actually Miss, Mr. Perfect, then you need to bring something to the table that is, uh, you know, above average. And uh, yeah, I think uh, maybe at this point in the match, uh, it will be really tough for him to get back into it. Uh, apologies again for the technical problems we're having from Taipei, but hopefully the uh, pictures will stay stable for us to really enjoy Mike Schlosser. Good to see Gabby there too. We'll see her in the recurve women's final a little, a little bit later on in this session. At the moment it's 90 against 86. And real interest here to see if Schlosser can finish with a perfect score of 150. Here goes Chen to start the fourth end. So, Schlosser. That was just his first nine of the match. So he won't get the perfect score of 150. Chen, meantime, had two tens in this end. So Schlosser ends with another 10. Yeah, so to get back to the point of uh, before, when you asked me what sets Mike apart in the world of, uh, of shooting, for as far or as long as I know him from when we were kids, um, he would bring, and, and uh, or I, I should say we should, would bring a printed out sheet of uh, national, European and world records uh, to competitions and we would just see what we could get uh, at that moment. So he would, he would always be um, like chasing this, this uh, mindset of like the sky is the limit and he would always try to raise the bar of what's possible and I think he's still trying to do that and not necessarily by scores because 
as as soon as you hit 600 out of 600, there's not much to grab. But um, I think he still does it in terms of accolades. He he tries to rack up those uh, World Cup wins and he tries to rack up uh, the records. And so um, I think he just uh, he has his mindset on being something exceptional in the world of archery. And uh, I think he's doing a great job. He sure is. There he is, banging in another 10. Chen, meantime, three tens in his last end. So he did really well. Three points behind. Starting this in now four. So Schlosser back to his usual high standard. So here's Chen's last arrow of the match. So he's finished nicely. So Schlosser to win the gold. He just needs a score. And there is another 10. Great match from Mike Schlosser. 149 out of 150. He's got the gold medal here at the compound. He's backed up. 